Hi, happy Monday. So I'm popping on here real quick to just share with you guys what I see all the time. Um, the world of divorce is an insane, insane place uh, because, and it, it's actually a really inspiring place too, but I'm just going to tell you the insanity today because like I'm part of, you know, quite a few divorce discussion groups and I see all the comments on the different social medias and stuff. And of course, it's a world that attracts a lot of people who are in relationships that are thinking about getting out of their relationships. So here's the shocking bit. To start off with, um, divorce researchers are estimating that about 17% to 40% of marriages are happy ones. That's, that's the spread between the different kinds of research that have been done. But essentially... You know, between 17 and 40% is not very much. Um, and so when we're thinking about how many marriages are in unhappy ones, first of all, but what's shocking is the level of unhappiness that's in these marriages where people are doing the classic uh, frog in boiling water. They don't realize that they're in abusive relationships. So you have all these um, groups and social media posts talking about how their spouse has no clue that they're unhappy, um, that their spouse is just really uh, selfish and abusive and not caring about any of their needs or, frankly, their opinion. They're being treated um, as a commodity, as a belonging, that um, they are you know, needing to feel badly about having their own needs having their own desires or having their own opinions about uh, how things should be done. Um, and they're in these just ghastly situations. And so they go on these forums, social forums are asking experts, you know, what do you think about this? Or how, what should I do about my marriage? Or should I leave? Or should I stay? And inevitably, you know, they're writing the description of what their relationship looks like. And it's so clearly abusive. Like, like I wouldn't last a day in their relationship and they've been in them for 10 years, sometimes 35 years. Sometimes people are talking about how they've been married for 35 years and they stayed in it for the kids and then realizing later uh, what they've exposed their kids to during all those years, which was a really bad dysfunction um, and a really bad example of what adults should act like and regretting having stayed so long in the marriage, quote unquote, for the kids. You know, this is stuff that I see every day, um, people wondering if they should stay in their marriage or not. And it's just, it's just mind blowing the amount of emotional turmoil that people will put themselves through, will allow themselves to go through uh, thinking that they are, you know, somehow holding on to something uh, something positive or something that they should do if they stay within the marriage. Um, so, you know, in my opinion, it's not the people who are getting divorced that have it worse off. You know, we're not the victims. We're not the ones to be pitied here. Uh, there are people who still haven't made it out of their abusive relationships and who might never make it out of their abusive relationships. Uh, there are people who will allow themselves to get whittled away to empty shells of themselves year after year because, you know, they didn't believe in themselves enough. They didn't love themselves enough to get out. And the, the uh, inevitable common ingredient in these situations is that they didn't love themselves and they didn't believe in themselves. They didn't believe that they could stand on their own two feet. So kudos to all of you who have gotten out. Um, I just, I want you to see the reality of the situation. Let's break, let's break this illusion of, you know, d divorce is, is like rock bottom. Divorce is the most awful thing that, that could happen. Actually, no, living your life in misery is the most awful thing that could happen. Wasting your precious divine essence is the most awful thing that could happen. Okay, have a good week. Bye.